You need to breathe deep. Come on, you talk us to this. Yeah, we do this. Come on, bump it. Come on, bump it. Let's see if you can do 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 it. Victor Chinian has landed this left hand a lot. That is his big weapon, and that one right on the button. Now, interestingly, it didn't stun the hottest or put him down or anything. It was a good punch. Are you okay? You, you got to hit him on the, in the body, in the body, in the right, also. Work his body, work his body. To go more to the body of Dar Chinian. Pretty late for a body attack in round seven. Beautiful straight left hand to the head by Dacchetti to open up the seventh. There's uh, our panel of press row scorers. Again, across the board, a seven-point lead for Dacchetti. I have it just about that way. I made a round even. I've got it 60-54. Clearly a dominant performance for Vic, Vic Dacchetti to this point. Dacchetti widening his lead to claim all three belts. You know, you saw a moment ago, nice combination by Mejadas, but two of the... Well, that wild left uppercut attempt. And that was from way out, and what was it done? It was cut. Again, uh, Miharis has to be very careful. Beautiful straight left by Darchinian to the head of Miharis. And now, all of a sudden, Darchinian turns. So Darchinian coming back a bit here in round seven. Doing so many uh, things unlike Christian Miharis, and he is just getting tagged. Yes, it is, though. Maharis, oh, there's a nice left hand by Darchenian. Maharis waiting for Darchenian to make one of those uh, mistakes, a, a wild swing. And look out, they continue to jaw away after the bell. He's already tired. You got to keep going. More, just throw more punches. You need to force yourself, remember? He throws with that left. You got that right. Work the body. He's throwing that left. So tie it up and keep on going with the right. Although Mejadas had a very good beginning of the round, Darchinian was able to land lefts like that one and then just doesn't get the other one in. Kind of a wild attempt. But uh, we'll see now how this is added into account. They think. The Maharas going to think Starchinian is getting tired. Let's see what happens in the second half. Maharas starting to uh, pick up the work rate. There's a good corkscrew uppercut by Darchinian. Yeah, well. too. Yeah, Here. You're right, and uh, it's hard to explain, even Let's though he's see. landing big shots. There's a pretty good shot to the chin. Oh. But back comes Darchinian with a blazing combination. Maharas, who has more skills, is faster than Karila, is doing the same thing. Big finish by Darchinian. We're set to go inside the ropes, uh, Al. This fight in microcosm, it started with a left uppercut that sent him down in the first round. Then the left hand, a recurring theme during the course of this match, set up by jabs by Vic Darchinian. The combination punching of Darchinian is part of what has been effective. Those one-two combinations that m many people did not think would land for Vic Darchinian have done so. So the left is pretty big weapon. Watch his hooks. Vic, watch his hooks. Vic, watch his hooks. And work with speed. What the coach says. Vic, 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 you're hitting with speed. Like dipping the shoulders, rolling. You know, so many things at the same time against a cocky fighter like Darchinian. From time to time, the Maharas jab comes alive, but for the most part, it's been Darchinian's jab that's been effective. All three uh, press row scorers continue to have it the exact same way. Seven-point lead this match. Past the midway mark of round nine. But once Maharas does something, they'll be back. Oh, but it's Darchinian having his way. He's hurt. Yeah, he really got to Maharas in that last sequence. With a minute 10 left of the night, Maharis is a little disoriented. A lot of time left, too. He's holding. That flurry by Darchinian really took its toll on Maharis. And Darchinian senses it. And Maharis continues to hold. 
He has really slowed Mahares down now, almost to a standstill. And interesting, Mahares, even if he's hurt, still coming forward because he feels the urgency that he's got to try and do that to win this fight. Well, he certainly uh, got hard. Now a combination by uh, Mahares is swelling under the right eye of Mahares. He's got that chin in the ropes. He quickly escapes. Showing great heart, Mahares, that's for sure. No question. But missing with the left is Miharis and then tangles with Darchinian. The big headline in this fight is the defense of Vic Darchinian. It is much better than the hottest and many of the boxing experts ever thought. Oh, a left hand and down goes Miharis for the second time in the fight. A few seconds left in the round. You can't be saved by the bell. And then you're on. It's over. It's over. Vic Darchinian has knocked out Christian Miharis. skills in addition to power a very impressive performance by Vic Darchin in getting hugs and embraces all around what a great moment in his career this is where toward the end of the round things went south for Christian Mejadas it would be uh, a straight left hand the kind that we've seen so many times before put opponents down the likes of which had landed so many times during the course of this fight. And it came because of a really good jab that Darchinian threw. You'll see him, there's the jab, and it, then the left hand comes. Even though he was kind of a little out of position, Darchinian, when he was throwing the punch, that's Vic Darchinian. He may be awkward, but the punches he delivers are pronated well. Look at how hard that jab is. And then there's the straight left right behind it. And so even if that is delivered not from the classic stance, it's delivered appropriately and the results are great. That landed flush, even though it did look awkward. You know, you know what? Style points don't matter when yeah. you knock somebody out and this man did it again. Yeah, this isn't diving in the Olympics. <laughs> no. Over Vic. All right, Steve, thank you very much. Congratulations to you, Vic. Was this a defining moment for you in your career? Thank you very much, of course. It's a very great time for me. I'm very happy. I think I'm going to enjoy. I, I hope, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy my winning. Miss my old friends, miss my family, miss my, my wife and kids at home still watching, still supporting with me. All friends, thank you very much. My family, Tamina. I'm enjoying. Thank you. Vic, how did you manage to take Maharas out of his fight? You totally dominated everything here tonight. How did you manage to gain control so soon? I, if you remember from first round, I did. From first round, I didn't go stupid. I didn't go through by big, big punches. I exactly promised what promised before, like few half an hour before uh, going to ring. I promise I'm gonna show him I'm skillful, I'm smart. I'm gonna destroy him and I'm gonna knock him out. Exactly what I did. In nine rounds, I knock him out. I keep my promise. That's very important for me. And all writers, all reporters in the boxing, I think they're great. You see, guys, you know, I think because I told you I'm gonna keep my promise. I'm ready for this fight. I, I, I want to fight, and thanks to my manager and Gary Show, makes this fight happen. Let's uh, check out how the scoring went for Maharis versus Darchinian. First, the official judges' scorecards, and there you have it. Now, a check of the uh, panel of press row uh, judges. Let's see. There it is, exactly the same. Igor Frank, Steve Kim, and uh, Michael uh, Rosenthal had it also 79 72.